Jeannie with Norna Scraps and I'm here today to show you a way to capture the colors that are in your graphic images that you take into the Cricut Design Space. I actually have a graphic that I picked up somewhere, I'm not sure where, on the internet, but I thought it would make just an elegant birthday card just simply stacked with maybe a sentiment frame on it. But I want to be able to match the colors pretty closely, and there is a way in Design Space to do that, but you have to start in something like Photoshop Elements, Color Picker, I think if Windows Paint still in existence, I use a Mac, I don't know anymore, there are those options. What I'm going to do is go over here to the little eyedropper tool, and I'm going to select an area of this, this picture, this graphic. Take the background area first, I click on it, and over here under color, I get an image. When I click on the square that's the color that I've just chosen, the color picker window, which this should look an awful lot like it does in Design Space, pops up. The numbers that you want to make note of are the last numbers up here by the number the pound sign, it's lowercase f, and it does matter, 7, lowercase f, 6, lowercase d, and f. And that's the off-white. I keep a little stack of post-it notes that I keep these things on. And I'm going to click OK. I'm going back to my select button, and I'm going to go to the deepest red, shows up over here under color, select that, and down to the bottom. Pound nine, you don't have to worry so much about pound, it's already in design space, two, zero, four, one. And then there's a black, um, just to be on the secure side. Let's go ahead with the lighter, the kind of rose color, select it, and that's E7AFC3. Now, click OK, and I have this image saved on my hard drive, so I will be back with you shortly. We're in Design Space, and I have already inserted, I uploaded, traced and uploaded this image, and I sized it to the desired size. I have inserted an image of a square with its mat, right here and it's one of the free images that comes with Design Space, as well as this image with its own little mat. I have already sized these to the sizes I need them, and I have taken and selected and ungrouped the mat from the front, the mat from the front, or the black from the taupe image. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to create the colors of Remember the color picker? I'm going to use those hex numbers, or those numbers, I'm not sure if they're hex or not, and I'm going to create an image that will just let this one pop out. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select with a single click this card, and here my color box pops up. Now I could pick any of these colors, but I want it to reflect this image. So for because this is the what was once taupe based part of my sentiment, I am going to add the lightest color, which was the background. So I'm going to select and type 7F6DF. And that's not right. Sorry, F7F6DF. Knowing how to type might be important. Hit enter and it reflects the background. Now I'm going to select the mat. And I'm going to, I think, I think I'm going to leave the mat black. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to select the square taupe and I'm going to 
type in at the very bottom where this little square is. I'm going to type in that number and that would be 9A2041 and I can either hit enter or I can click on that space and that turns the red color and if I bring this to the foreground I can audition it and see ooh that looks pretty nice and I'm going to take my little sentiment box again arrange it bring this to the foreground now I'm going to bring this to the foreground sometimes you just gotta go back to square one bring it over here and I think that's going to look fine once I put my writing on it. And I'm going to add my font. I'm going to separate this up because it's a cool little trick. Add my font and I'm going to put happy birthday. Let's make it two. Birthday. And I'm going to click and go back to center and I'm going to select a different font something just a little more with a flourish and I love the fact in design space I can use my true type fonts or I can choose one of the Cricut fonts oh let me see let's go to George. Georgian Basics. There we go. Now, I've got my Georgian Basic font selected and I'm going to make it smaller. I can, I'll make it smaller in just a minute. I'm going to X out of this box and I have layers for this that I'm not using. This would be a backing layer. That might look pretty good actually. I think I'll leave that one on and leave it black. What I want to do with this layer, I'll single click on it and I'm going to go back to the color we just created, that red, and that would be 9A2041. It's the darker red. Select it. X out of my box. And now and I had mentioned this in a previous tape, but in order, you can actually print this much as you would um, any kind of a um, letterpress font. So I'm going to flatten this first, flatten my font as it stands. It creates a print and cut, and I can actually deselect this and get rid of it so it doesn't slow my, um, hit delete, sorry so it doesn't slow my processing down of my images I'm going to take my happy birthday move it up here to my tag center it select the tag and the font and flatten it now this will print and cut as is I think I'm going to leave my black images because black takes up an awful lot of ink I'm going to leave those as they they are and I'll just cut them from black paper. What I want to do though is I want to select the red box because it is a specific red. With the, the layer selected I'm going to flatten that and it will now become a print and cut as well. I'm going to send this to the printer and I will be back with you as soon as it's done. And there you have it. Fast, fun, and done. I'm going to add a little bit of glitter just to give it some pizzazz and maybe a couple rhinestones on the sentiment. But this, and that's my kitten who loves my Cricut mask. <laughs> She's checking it out just to make sure it's good enough to send. I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you enjoyed learning how to expand the capabilities of the Explorer yet one more time. Until next time, bye.